like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 25 says, indicate whether each statement is always true, never true, or sometimes true for the real numbers A and B. So we're assuming A and B are real numbers. They could be any real numbers, positive or negative. And so what we want to go is, do is just kind of go through and see if we can find some examples of these to see, you know, are they ever true? Um, and just kind of think through them logically. So the first one says the absolute value of A plus B. So just to give you a little bit of background here, whenever you have the absolute value of X, what it will do is take whatever numbers inside the, the bars and make it positive. Now one way to define this is as what we call a piecewise function. And basically what that means is that this function outputs something different uh, depending on what you input. So if you have a positive number inside the, inside the absolute value bars, then nothing's going to change. For instance, the absolute value of 5 is still 5. So it'll just equal whatever's inside the parentheses uh, if that number is positive or if it's 0. Okay. Oops. Now, if it's negative, so if x is negative, then it's going to flip the sign. So the absolute value of negative 5 would be positive 5. Another way to think about this is that the absolute value is just computing the distance that the number is away from 0, whether it's positive or negative. Now, what happens if the number is negative inside here, since it flips it to be positive, we're going to say that this is going to output the opposite of x whenever x is negative. So this is just a different way of defining um, absolute value here. And so hopefully we can use this to um, answer our questions. So the first one says, if you add two numbers, so let's say a 2 plus 3, um, the absolute value of 2 plus 3 is going to, and you know, let's just, uh, maybe I'll type this out too. So the absolute value, we'll, we'll do 2 plus 3, and then we'll do a couple of other examples here with like different negatives. Uh, we could do like negative 2 plus 3, um, how about we check uh, negative, well, how about we do 2 plus negative 3, so 2 minus 3. And then uh, let's let our last one be the absolute value of um, negative 2 uh, plus negative 3. So we have a bunch of examples here of like, actually, these are really the only four examples uh, in terms of the signage here. And so we'll see what happens. Like, does this actually equal this? So um, under this case, the first case, the absolute value of A would be 2, right? And the absolute value of this would be uh, 3, okay? So if the numbers are negative, of the absolute value of negative 2 plus the absolute value of 3. And then if the second number is negative, we've got the absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of negative 3. And then for the last one, we're comparing. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Um, a negative number and the absolute value of another negative number. And so what we want to do is in each of these cases is see what happens as far as like, are they equal? Uh, is one greater? Is one less than? So let's find out. So if we just have the absolute value of uh, 3 plus 2, um, this would equal the absolute value of 5, which would just be 5. Okay. So the, uh, this would just equal 5. Now if I take the absolute value of these numbers separately, um, we just get 2 plus 3, which is also 5. So at least sometimes this is true. Okay, we're going to check to see if it's always true or, or, or not, but it's at least sometimes. It's definitely not going to be never true. So for the second one, we get negative 2 plus 3, which is 1, and so the absolute value of 1 is 1. Now over here, we get uh, the absolute value of negative 2, which is positive 2. So we get a positive 2 plus a positive 3 equals 5. So in this case, we can see that the, the sum of the absolute values is bigger. So we know it's, it could sometimes be less than. So right away, we can say, okay, well, it's sometimes equal and sometimes less than. We'll see if it's ever not true. Um, 
And then let's see. Yeah, so let's just keep going here. So the next one, we're going to have three plus, uh, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1, and the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. And the absolute value of 2 is 2, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Uh, looks like we're going to have 5s all the way down the line here. And then here we have 5 and 5. Okay, so these are really all the different combinations as far as like what's positive and what's negative. And so we can see there are two cases here. Um, the first one and the last one where they're equal. And then the middle two, we can see that the smaller number, uh, the, the, the first one is smaller sometimes. So sometimes they're equal. Sometimes the first one's less than. Um, in every case, they are either less than or equal to. So this is going to always be true. It's always going to be one or the other. It's never going to be greater than. You know, there's no way for this right-hand column to be uh, a smaller number than the left-hand column. So that's it for number 25. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.